Yeah, that, that, that was definitely um, a great, a great um, insight, you know, on the love of God. But just to shift gears just a little bit, but it still ties in. Um, let's talk about when or if a father um, falls. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And, and, and is not able to finish yeah. strong. How are the sons able to finish that off, take the baton and either pick him up or finish off? You know, how, what, what is the sons to do or the daughters to do in that situation? Yeah. Because, you know, we're seeing it rampant now. A yeah. lot of the fathers yeah. didn't end well. Yeah. They didn't finish the race well. And so what is the next generation to do? Because now I'm either afraid of... Yeah. You know, if I get to this point, I don't want to, I don't yeah. want to fail, or I don't want to get to this point and and fall. So I'm just gonna either step away from ministry, period, or I'm gonna stay in the shadows, yeah. or I'm just gonna, you know, what, what's, what's your guys' take on that? <clears throat> I think uh, well, I was afraid that the same way. I saw people coming to the top and falling, so I didn't want to go up. Mm. I didn't know how to handle promotions we've got, mm. because every time person is promoted and they are their money is coming in or their ministry is growing well or they're becoming famous. Yeah. Uh, the chances of the enemy aiming at you is high. The enemy aiming at your children is high. Yeah. And, uh, enemy aiming at your marriage is high. Your moral values and if you are traveling alone, everything is the same. Sure. So I was so afraid. So I said, I don't want all these things. And then one day the Lord has to speak to me. And he said in the book of Psalms that God will give you the hinds feet. Mm. And then there is another scripture in uh, Psalms 4. The, the Bible says that even if I fall, the Lord will lift me up. So now I'm no longer afraid of falling. Mm. Mm. That's what the enemy manipulates. Mm. But you know, the truth is, there are many lessons we only learn when we fall. Mm. But don't fall into the world, but fall into God. Yeah. Mm. Don't fall outside that frame. Fall inside. I'm not talking about morality fall. I'm not talking about in integrity and in finances, stealing church money. Yeah. I'm not talking about adulterous affair. I'm not mm. talking about all these things. I'm talking about personal insight, convictions. Because I think as sons in the faith, you are not given permission to be your normal guy. Mm. You have normal affection, someone says something. Mm. If you love a girl or you love a boy, someone says something. How can you as a pastor, child, so on? You too have normal feelings. Sure. You can't choose the perfect one at all, just like every one of us. Mm -hmm. By the time you get the right girl or right boy, you'll make a few choices. Mm -hmm. No one has the permission. But if the church is as real, we will leave them as alone and allow them to work out their own testimony, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I, I, one of the things I also want to request all of you is that we, we should at least end this uh, podcast praying for those who have left behind. Like, you know? yeah. But uh, so... This is one of the things I think uh, everything boils down to pretensions, you know. Yeah. When we pretend, when you become somebody you're not. Mm. And then, uh, like what Samuel said, uh, because you know so much about God, every little sin brings you right, straight down to hell and you mm. struggle with it. How can I do this? How can I do that? Mm. Now, that's where we have to lift them up. So, how can I... Uh, important question, how can a son take over? We had two situations in Singapore uh, that I know. Uh, one of the fathers, uh, father had a heart attack and he died. The minister, son never wanted to come to the ministry. So he became a uh, leader by accident. But what happened is the church was 300. He brought the church into 600. Mm. It's as though the favor of God came from the father and rested on the son. The anointing came. You see, they are groomed up in the church. You know? Yeah. You see, some of the sons are not shining. It's simply because the fathers are there. Yeah. And that is why some fathers, they want their children to pastor the sister churches, not under them directly. So they go out and pastor their own church. They will learn their own thing. They will respect it their own way. But my point is, are you sending out by God? Are you sending them up in the flesh? Yeah. Because sometimes when you send our sons and daughters in the wrong battlefield, they'll die. They have to find God, right? So there's another pastor was the same. The pastor had a heart attack and he fell. 
just before the Sunday service. The son was already an active pastor. He took the church much more bigger than where the father was. Mm-hmm. The hardest part is the moral leader with the sons are looking up to the father and he falls into sin or adultery. Mm-hmm. Now, honestly, I don't know how that feeling is going to be. Mm-hmm. One of the things that kept me afraid all the time is to walk right with God so that I don't open a door for demons to come and break down my children. Mm-hmm. I was so afraid to fall into anything. Mm-hmm. So I had to walk more conservatively, more carefully. Yeah. Surround yourself with married people. Surround yourself with children. Mm-hmm. Don't let people... You know, when you are in the ministry now, eh, people are going to admire you, you know. Mm-hmm. But don't flirt with them. Because you guys are married except for him. Mm. You can ad- be admired, but don't flirt. Because you open the door for the enemy to come. So what N- you're saying is that they can't flirt. Uh, no, you. <laughs> 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 no. But I want to, even as this topic was, if, that, if you're a son and daughter, yeah. if your father has fallen into the ministry, or he has left the ministry, and you've lost all the love because perhaps you thought that... Uh, the church people mistreated your dad and you were you were kicked out and now mm. many problems like that is happening around some famous churches are going Correct. through yeah. many sons and daughters are hurt yeah. children are hurt when uh, church committees kick out their parents and so on and so forth yeah. our hearts are so broken yeah. i've got no words in fact i feel like crying i've got no words to think about the future of these children who wanted to serve god but now they got nowhere to go Mm. because that demon is going to attach themselves you are the father or you are the daughter you are the son of so and so they're going to be judged by that so I pray in the name of Jesus that God will give you a spiritual home I pray in the name of Jesus God will give you a spiritual father who will heal you who will strengthen you and will lift you up again Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus that God who heals the broken hearted will heal you in the same way Amen. this is a warning sign any one of us can happen. Any one of us can fall. Yeah. It's not just me. Tomorrow you'll become a father. Sure. Many youth pastors are going through this. Mm-hmm. Because people will admire you when you are in the ministry. Yeah. But when you carry yourself and you more than who you are thinking that you are infallible, mm. it happens. I think that's important, sir. And if I may also, when Anthony asked the question, it made me think about you know, you might be following a leader for so long. Something happens to the ministry. The ministry crumbles. Something that was hidden gets exposed. And many young people could be questioning, am I following the right God right. all this while? Right. Is everything that I've invested in my life a waste? Uh, we want to boldly say to you, it is not. Yeah. Because you are not doing it unto men. Right. Sure. You're doing it unto God. Yeah, sure. And I think there's two things that we need to understand that our fathers are not perfect. Mm. And if we have someone that we are following and that person is conveying himself or herself as perfect, then you better run away fast. Mm. Because, you know, we are all mere human beings that is empowered purely and solely because of the grace of God. Mm. And so keep in mind that your spiritual leaders are not perfect, Mm. that they're human in many different ways, you know. And I think, number two, a lot of people will find themselves in trouble when you idolize your pastor, when you idolize your spiritual father, more than you are supposed to give that spot only to yeah, the Lord Jesus. Yeah. 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 Because your leaders can fall, but yeah. your Savior will never fall. Amen. Yeah. You Amen. know, your fathers can <clears throat> fail, but your heavenly father cannot fail. So yeah. I think from what Pastor Stephen is saying, and we're speaking to the sons and daughters, and maybe you feel like your ministry, the, the ministry you've been following is crumbling. You feel like... You know, I, I, am I am I in the right direction? Is always that no, it's not. Recalibrate yourself back to yeah. God. Yeah. God will connect you. And if that has caused trauma, and you feel like I don't want to be part of any team anymore, no, that's the lie of the enemy. Yeah. Because you know what? Throughout the, every junction of your journey with God, it is the same Jesus yeah. that is with you from the starting line, and it, He is the same Jesus that will be with you at the finish line. Yeah. So it's not wasted, but look at it as a point where you know that the only one that you Mm. can hold on to is God and Mm. God alone. But then, you know, other people, at the same time, it is also sad to see, you know, we have cases where the fathers fell morally, but the person has already passed. 
Yeah. So nothing can be done. Yeah. But we have cases where yes, a fault took place, but people just ran away from that person. Yeah. yeah. Can we be no restoration. Yeah, mm-hmm. those that okay, maybe how God is going to restore that individual ministry wise, that's not our cup of tea. Yeah. yeah. But being a friend, being yeah. a genuine brother or sister yeah. to be there in his life, in her life, I think that is still our responsibility. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. a fall doesn't mean that that person is disqualified from the family of God. Yeah. 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 You know, so if you know someone has fell and uh, it's someone who's senior, mm. you know, then bring that love yeah. to that person so that at least that person will be restored in his and her heart. Right. Yeah. And also, also when when we when you're touching about the servant serving thing, that it's not all wasted, right? Mm. I was sharing the same something similar to the media team yesterday when we were having our thing, and um, and my dad had mentioned that I was always coming back every Sunday, mm. right? I promise you, like I was in no condition to be coming every Sunday, you know, <laughs> like I shouldn't be there. Mm. That's one, and like what he said. I should I should not even qualify to be serving. Sure. That's that's hundred percent facts. Yeah. You know, and it wasn't like for a few months. It was a few years. Mm. You know, and and I I understand why churches have that precaution, that barrier, that yeah. you know, serving God should be sacred and all that kind of stuff. But I also, being on the other side, I personally. Um, especially like in the media team and all that for the media team like if i know somebody like is struggling and all that in fact that's when i will help them to serve more yeah yeah than actually telling Push them, them away like you know, yeah. because be, i get the the other side of it you know the what's it called like procedures standard yeah, procedure yeah. i get that but the other side of it is that i know that my family was praying for me yeah. every single day i know that My dad's prayers gave me grace and protection. All that, 100% agree. Mm-hmm. But I knew for a fact that despite whatever I did throughout the whole week, however I am during Sunday, because I'm just there and because I'm doing what I really can mm. at the moment, that all that things like God takes into account. Right, right. Yeah, that, that's right. right. You know, mm. and and that you will never see. The fruition of it till like much later yeah. in your life, so there's there's literally no thing that you can not do, and it's like pointless. I think what you said is still there's yeah. that wisdom was exercised, right? Mm. Yeah. Because um, I think Pastor did mention you know how you dress and certain things you do. We got to realize that the ministry is public ministry. It's called public ministry, yeah. so. When we do public ministry, there's etiquettes that we mm. have to follow through. Mm-hmm. But I think this is powerful what Samuel just said. We need to exercise that godliness, but we need to remember there are some people who are struggling, and the moment they're pushed away from church, yeah. that will only deeper their like, fall. That's yeah. the last line, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Because there are some people who are falling, and mm. they do it purposely without any remorse. Mm. That's a different case right. from someone yeah. Yeah, yeah, who, yeah. yes, that person is still falling, but. That person's crying out in his heart, asking God for help. You know, I think so. What differentiates is the motivation of the yeah, heart, that's true. and that's and true. I think you know, Pastor said that encounters, visitations. That's important. Are we so running like a machine, but when we don't have the Spirit of God yeah. leading and guiding, and we have no sense of His heart, you know, then what we will have is a religious system. Right. But you know what? When we keep it real. We give that room for the Holy Spirit to speak, for the Holy Spirit to express what is thinking, what is feeling about that situation. That changes everything, you know, because everything is moved based on the love of God, yeah. not based on a religious understanding. Mm. You know, yeah. that's a big difference. Yeah. What was it for you, uh, Anthony? Uh, Anthony was uh, his uh, his whole life he served God, and his mom is a uh, minister. minister. Yeah. So you grew up in a woman leadership style, yeah. right? And uh, and you were looking for a spiritual father. Yeah. So earlier we asked all these kind of questions. So what was it like for you? Man, it was a struggle. Uh, even when it came to knowing the difference of, um, like you said, with uh, that relationship with your mother or your father, yeah. And then this their 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 spiritual yeah, authority yeah. over your life as well. 
And me and my mother clashed a lot. You know, I was out of all of my brothers. I was the wild one. And so I, I explored more. Um, and But when the Lord um, drew me back in and I wanted to submit, uh, I believe my mother <clears throat> could take me as far as she could. Yeah. You know, f- with, with her spiritual experiences and knowledge. And I cried out that I, I needed more because mm. my, my father was present was there but wasn't really present. Mm. <clears throat> so um, I believe, like you said, God can create those ways because I felt as though right. I was wow. up north yeah. and I felt like I was desiring it. But, um, you know, we would have Bible studies and I was just going to different conferences. But having that mentorship, someone there that to help walk you through, guide you through these different things, I, I just didn't have. And um, it, at, at some point, I actually had a prayer, and I felt like I had to cut the umbilical cord of, yeah, I remember you saying um, this one time. you know, with my mother, and it was it was it was a, it was hard, it was a struggle, and even for um, parents who I, I would say. And I'm sure she was hurt by it, being that okay, now you're going to another ministry under yeah, another yeah, yeah. Yeah. man of the God, emotions, yeah. and you know, so you know what, all the things that I have instilled in you was that not enough? Mm. Yeah. You know, and I'm sure she went through, her you know, her things. her her challenges and her emotions as well, and as did I and, and my brothers as well, and um, which brings me to, you know, a question of. Is it okay to have more than one spiritual mother or father? Mm. Mm. Can one maybe take you to one certain point, mm. and this, where this person is at in their ministry, can take you to that next point for yeah. what God has yeah. inside of you to bring yeah. it out? Yeah. You know, and I, I think that's something that you know we can discuss, and there may be many people who may be experiencing the same thing of yeah. Yeah. parents. But, but what do you think? For me, I believe that. Yes, you know, because you you can only take someone as far as you went. Correct. Yeah. You know, and um, if someone hasn't experienced a certain magnitude of ministry up to a certain point of what God gave you, you can't take that person there, especially if 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 I'm the one for for my the generation for me is to take to take it further. How am I to take it further if you can't teach me how to take it further? Right. And it goes the same thing for 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 my son or or yeah. our, our children, and that's something I'm probably gonna have to maybe go through too. If if my son or daughter, you know, needs to be mentored by by someone else who yeah. where I I've reached where God has take, taken me, and someone else can bring them further right. yeah. for what God put inside of them. Right. But, I think but, it has many but, things to do with his calling too. But you know, yeah. you know, you got a lifetime contract with Rivers of Life. Yeah, it has a lot of things to do with yeah. you, the calling. You know. Yeah. Um, because of the call of God on your life yeah. and the responsibility. Because a lot of people listening to this podcast might think that, you know, um, certain pressure is being put on you. Oh, I don't have this figure in my life. But maybe you're not called in that aspect of ministry, of leading a ministry. Yeah. Maybe you're not called yeah. as a pastor, you know. Mm-hmm. So God has customized and the people who's speaking into your life as a father or a mother might not be as intense as others. And a lot of, because a lot of sons or daughters also assume that if I have a figure of a mother or a father, it means I have to become like that person, right. you see? Mm-hmm. Like I, I was just sharing, um, you know, with Pastor Stephen, everybody, for, I was thinking about Caleb. Caleb considered Moses as mm. his spiritual father. Mm. But we always look at the spiritual son of Moses as being Joshua because Joshua filled Moses' shoes. Yeah. Mm. It was not Caleb's call, yeah. you, you know? Yeah. So... I think, you know, so we cannot assume that just because we have a spiritual father, we put that pressure on ourselves mm-hmm. that I need to be like that person, yeah. you know. But for us to fulfill the call that God has for us, our call might be greater, it might be the same, it might be less, but it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we're fulfilling what God wants us to do. You know, sometimes we can have this uh, keep, uh, an alternative thinking, yeah? Uh, like Paul said, you can have many teachers, mm. but not many fathers, Correct. right? Mm. So when you said multiple fathers, sometimes it's actually multiple mentors. Gotcha. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. The father could be just one. One. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. Because 
the mentors are different that God assigns to de- bring you to different stages. Mm-hmm. And, and, and if you guys probably in this episode, we should put the video, uh, include a small clip where Louis Ingle prayed for all of you. Mm-hmm. Remember, for me, that moment is important because I have only walked to minister to maybe 10,000 was the max. But Louis Ingle has ministered to millions. Mm. And I did not want my limitation to limit you. Wow. Mm. So I had a private talk with Brother Louis Ingle. I said, you have done millions and the sons must reach the millions. Mm. And only you can lay hands and impart that gift, which I don't have. Wow. And that is why that afternoon he said, okay, call all your sons. We will lay hands on them. I wanted that. Now, I don't know how many fathers will want. I don't know. But the sons cannot fly below the Father. You've got to fly below the wings of Jesus. Come on. Wow. You can't fly below the Father. You cannot be under my leadership forever. I must teach you how to be under the leadership of Jesus. And that is something. So if we teach you right, you will do it right to your sons and daughters. Yeah. Many of us, we didn't know how to do ourselves because we didn't have a model to follow. Yeah. I cried. Since I was 16, just like you, I went to many people who I looked up, would you be my spiritual father? All of them say, sorry, cannot. Mm. Then one day I didn't realize why. Then I realized for sometimes when you are paving a way in your own way and there is nobody to show you the path, the Lord himself will lead you the path wow. so that you will become a father one day. Wow. With all the lacks you experience, you must give the same spiritual support yeah. like as though the days you were crying yeah. you wanted somebody yeah. there are many who are crying but some of what I in my position now what I'm doing is to identify the fake ones with the real ones mm. invest on the ones who are already actively doing ministry not the ones who are always wanting but not doing anything yeah. so you must know where to invest your time yeah. number two don't be motivated by money mm. Don't invest on my, oh, people only has got money and add value to your church. Mm. Some sons who are grown up in the Lord, they don't have anything, man. Yeah. They've got a heart to give Jesus 100%. They don't have no money. Yeah. But if you look at only the businessmen, to if you look at only the, at the sons, or if I adopt them as sons, they will start planting money in you. Wow. Mm-hmm. And that's where corruption comes into the wow. kingdom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They are sons who will... You know, I don't know who among you will become the next Paul. I don't know who among you will become the next Reynard Bonke, Oral Roberts, whoever mm-hmm. you want to name. I don't know who under you will become the next Oral Roberts. I just don't know. Mm-hmm. Somewhere along the line, you will become someone. The Father's job is to carve that image in you that you'll follow Christ. Amen. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that's where... Uh, You are who you are because your mother prayed you into it. Sure. You know? So mother will have a big portion of God's reward Absolutely. because she did not bring up a son. She brought up a man of God. Yeah. Mm. And you are waiting to be discovered and God brought you to us. Yeah. In here, your sonship is growing. Yeah. You will learn all the right models and you'll become that to your son mm. and people under you in the ministry. Amen. Right? We are all, keep in mind, we are all, man, we are a work in progress. Yeah, for sure. You know, we are, well, anyway, just for those who are in record, just like before the podcast started, I said something which was not fair comment about some church situation to to Anthony. And while I was driving, the Holy Spirit convicted me. I think that is not Christ-like. So I called Anthony. I said, bro, I'm, you know, forgive me. I shouldn't have said that. So sometimes fathers, we can say out of line. We can say things, mm. you know. Uh, well, to my son, I've apologized things that uh, uh, you just don't know what hurt them, right? Yeah. I may think I'm a holy Joe, you know, mm. but the pressure I would have placed on them. Mm. So I've got to come to this point of asking for forgiveness mm. for the hurt, the pain. Mm. I can justify 100% oh, it was good for him, but sometimes not mm. because God was having an upper hand in his life. Yeah. Yeah. So there is no perfect parenting. There is no perfect sons or fathers. It's not. There is no book to follow. Correct. 
you know. I think this 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 is a very key signature for for our generation, bro. You know, to see a father who's willing and open. Yeah. To to apologize to to yeah. you know to be honest and have those conversations because, um, you know you don't see that a lot, man. I know. I mean, you, you guys should be giving me some thanks too because yeah. I helped him be like. <laughs> 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 Look at that! Yeah, right. A okay. father who's not threatened. Mm. A father who's not threatened, but who has a heart that his sons will rise, yeah. you yeah. know, and soar with because Jesus. That's key too. Yeah. Because like, I think p- some sometimes you have have to kind of understand that it's like it's a team game. Yeah. You know, like of course, you know, we have rules of life ministry. Everybody got their own ministries, and they're loyal to that. But at the end of the day, is the same goal, right? And and when we're talking about about um. Uh, I don't know what we were talking about. I forgot. But uh, what I wanted to say was that, despite all the pressure that comes with, not even pastor son, but spiritual sons mm. and uh, mentees, is that yeah. what you call it? Mm. Yes. Mentees, uh, comes a lot of pressure. Comes a lot of everything, and even your guys' children, right? It's. I don't. I'm not cursing them, obviously, right? But. It's going to get harder for them than it was for us. Mm. But we always got to remember and recognize that God made it in a way that the next person must succeed mm. the first person. Yeah. Right. You know, like if not then the first person the, the leader's job is kind of failed. That's right. You know. Their yeah. job is to to push even even fast years as one time the Dominic Toretto said. Yeah, we go. Yeah, <laughs> <you know? laughs> <laughs> so, so he said that man, some of these movies, man, you can really like, That's right. like yeah. Yeah. get some good lines. But yeah, like you have to recognize that fact that they they not supposed to be forever under you. They suppose. I mean, I would say that suppose always to be together, together as a family, honoring. Right? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. the plan and the project of the whole mentorship and spiritual sonship all that is so that the the sons can actually go higher rise up you know? mm-hmm. and yeah. i think it's important for the sons to always honor the fathers yeah you, god can entrust you with bigger projects yeah but you cannot fail to remember recognize yeah, 100%. and because it's we're doing it together at the yeah. name at the end of the day the name of jesus yeah. is glorified and yeah. you know and talking about our ministry rivers of life apostolic God has given Pastor Stephen the vision, yeah. you know, to touch the nations. We are going to touch the nations together. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, and so you know, just like Christ said, you know, and like as, as I said in the last um, episode, um, He's called all of us, as He said in His Word, that you will go further than even I did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think yeah. that's a great model that Christ yeah. has has etched. And we're talking about Christ himself. Yeah. Yeah. He can do it, we will go but he chose, yeah. Yeah. he chose not to. He chose not to. He said, exactly. you will take it further. And, yeah. and even what, from the, the aspect of Father God and Jesus giving him all authority. Yeah. And now he will be raised up and have all authority. And you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's, it's just the principle of yeah. God. Right. And how he designs for the sons yeah. and, the, and the daughters to go flourish. And, and what gratifying... How gratifying does it feel as a father, you know, to see your children successful, growing, and and, and flourishing? Yeah. And so I think it's a, such a, a great um, blueprint that that God has given Amen. us. Amen. You know. Um, so I just want to thank you guys once again for coming on and sharing your heart, sharing your testimony, your experiences. I, I pray you all are blessed. Again, please like, share, subscribe. And share this with with those of uh, that you know, your friends, your family. I believe they will be truly blessed. And guess Amen. what? We love you, and you can't do nothing about it. Come we got we got to think about something. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you. Got <laughs> yeah, the new taglines. Okay, right. <laughs>